In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play DOS games on Windows using the DOSBox emulator. The first thing that you want to do is to download the DOS game that you want to play. There's many websites that have these downloads available. I won't be showing you any examples in this video, but when you have your DOS game ready, you want to make sure that you've downloaded the pre-installed version of the game. If you download a setup file which needs to be installed or a disk ROM which needs to be mounted, it makes the process in DOSBox a lot more complicated. And the way that you will know that it's pre-installed is when you open up the folder you want to look for a .exe file which looks like this it's usually going to be the game name .exe and when you have a file that looks like this then you will know that the game is pre-installed once you have the game files ready, you can go ahead to the next step, which is downloading the DOSBox emulator. So you just want to come to this website. I'll be leaving a link in the description. And when you're on here, you want to click on the green download now button. It's going to redirect you to SourceForge, which after waiting for a couple of seconds, the DOSBox setup is going to install automatically. And you're going to be able to find the setup in your downloads folder. Drag it onto your desktop and then double click on the setup file to launch it. Click on yes here, and then click on next, click on next again, and then click on install. They're going to tell you that the setup has been completed, so you can just go ahead and click on close. As you can see here on our desktop, DOSBox has now been installed and they will create a shortcut on your desktop. To launch the game, all you have to do is go to the .exe file, which I was talking about. You want to left click on the .exe file and you want to drag it over to the DOSBox icon. And as you can see, DOSBox will automatically launch with the game that you selected. To make it full screen, you want to press on Alt and Enter. You can choose the settings here for the graphics, sound, and if you want to play using your mouse or your mouse and keyboard. And the game is going to automatically launch. It's really that easy guys to play DOS games on Windows using the DOSBox emulator. The most important step is the step at the beginning where you want to make sure that you have a pre-installed version of the game and it will just make things so much easier. So guys, I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time.